channel. In today's video, we will attempt to paint a holographic S-crank style lore in a candy fire tiger pattern. First color we're gonna use is a Createx Candy 2.0 Lemon Yellow. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover the sides in uh, the lemon yellow. By the way, this lemon yellow is mixed with equal parts of a Createx 4030 Balancing Clear. Uh, the Balancing Clear will help. Oh, come on. I guess I should have made sure the airbrush was running correctly before I started. Yep, let me fix this airbrush. Okay, I think I left off explaining how this Createx 4030 Balancing Clear helps keep the uh, helps keep the uh, candy from running. about that I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of air to try to dry it up about all we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and clean this brush out again and try to fix this clog. All right, our next color will be a, a candy 2.0 emerald green. What we're going to do is just come down maybe a, a third of the way down the bait from the uh, shoulder area. And you can cover up the back as well if you want. <clears throat> Alright, what we're going to do is we'll miss the bait. And we'll work our way down. Light coats. little bit of air dried up. Listen for your air to start hitting the bait, and then you'll know you're getting paint on there. A little bit of air dried up. further down miss wait till you hear the air hit then you know you're getting it on all right that's 
all I want to do. <clears throat> all right, our next step is to cover this lure with a uh, Createx 4040 bleed checker. This bleed checker will help the candy paints. Uh, it'll help them from migrating through your uh, your regular Wicked colors. Uh, we're gonna coat this entire lure and uh, we'll let it dry. Can't use a hair dryer, have to let it dry on its own. And they, they recommend about 30 to 40 minutes on this. Uh, I switched airbrushes. I'm running the blaster now. Uh, the blaster is just an Iwata Eclipse converted into a 0.5 needle nozzle setup. And I'm running this bleed checker between 30 and 45 pounds. I just turned the compressor up and didn't look at it. finish coating it off camera I just wanted to let you know about the old bleed checker okay after letting this uh, bleed checker cure for about 45 minutes we'll be on to our next color and our next color is the createx wicked gold and we're gonna coat the bottom of this lure today. I cannot win. Quick little heat set. I don't want to go too thick on the uh, color here. Have it run. a little more a little more reducer for the air compressor.
more thinner. Set. We're about done with that gold. Pull it out, check it out. Just a little bit more. I should have did a practice more before uh, I tried making a video. Can't keep hold of my hair dryer. He's knocking that on the floor. and get ready for the next color okay our next color is a createx wicked orange mixed with some gold uh that ratio i don't know what i did i just had some gold left in the chamber i just added a few drops of orange and here's our gold all right and we'll coat this belly Like these videos like comment and subscribe it'd be greatly appreciated and while you're at it check out my buddy's channel it's actually my fishing buddy lives across town here rick lore painting r-i-c lore painting or aka ricasso aka my fishing buddy Check his channel out he does some cool patterns he does some real intricate patterns sometimes too i've seen a lot of his work on the boat and uh he makes some sick patterns once again that's rick lore painting r-i-c lore painting telling blind symmetry sent you and if you like what he does hit him with a subscription this a little bit miss it miss it miss it there's some air but a fruit a little bit Blend it down 
the side a little bit. Miss the lure and work into it. You'll hear your air hitting the lure. Sometimes you won't see your paint right away, so listen for the air hitting the lure. Oh, I went up a little too high. Pull her out, take a good look at her. All right. I just want to come up that belly a little bit. Rusty. So, so rusty. Don't be like me, people. If you're painting lures, continue painting lures with little gaps in between sessions. Don't go two months. It's almost like learning how to use the airbrush again. I think I accomplished what I needed to accomplish there. All right, that's it for this color. Okay guys, uh, the next color I did was a Wicked Pearl Red. I did about eight drops to one drop of Wicked Aluminum, or you could use Wicked Silver. Uh, I know it's a waste of paint, but sometimes you gotta waste some paint to get the desired effect you want. Uh, the, Co yeah, the, GoPro. the GoPro did not record what I was doing. All I did with that was hit the throw area and blend that into that orange. So that's all I did there. A little upset that the GoPro uh, clunked out on me there. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this brush and I'll be back with the next, next step. All right, our next color will be a Wicked Pearl Lime Green. coat that back at the, uh, the chin area. Light coats and a lot of heat sets. I apologize, this airbrush is not totally clean.
clear up for me. Yeah, this will take quite a few coats. So I'll get this coat here, heat set it, and then I'll do the rest off camera. go till she, the top isn't transparent anymore that's what we got so far I'll go ahead and throw some more lime green on the uh, back of this off camera okay next step is we're gonna coat this bait again mainly just the, the, the uh, spine area with uh, the bleed checker I'll do that off camera and I'll get back to you with one of the final steps. All right, our next color will be the Candy 2.0 Emerald Green again. What we're gonna do is do a thin blaze down the spine just to give that some depth. I'm gonna go ahead and switch helping hands to my tall helping hands. thin blaze not even sure if it's going on yeah, it's going on Eye. A little bit of air. More paint. dries out of reach so uh, it's looking decent to me I'm not worried about blending that in or, or anything that thin blaze makes the bait look like the spine is a little thinner than it is back up just to blend it a little bit and that's it that's all we're doing with that I hope you can see that a little thin blaze down the spot Let me dig through this drawer here and find the stencil I want to use. I'll use a 3D stencil on it and uh, uh, I'll be right back and she'll be covered up and we'll be on to the final step besides the eyes. Alright, let's 
Let's get our stencil put on here. Yeah. Try to do it without scratching her up. with some black low pressure don't stay in one spot too long Maybe with some air Probably blow this stencil out. Clean this tip off. Uh, for everybody who wants to know how I do my tip dry, I'll clean my tip dry. I just dip my uh, Q-tip in a uh, a little container of uh, my homemade cleaner. And I just spin it around that needle. I don't put too much pressure. I just do that every once in a while. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and get the other side coated and I'll come back and we'll take this, uh, this stencil off. Okay, let's, fingers crossed here. Pray for me. Either I went too much, or I didn't go enough. There we go. I can't tell, I'm gonna have to take it out and look at it. Either went too much, or not enough. That looks pretty decent on that side. Success. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get some eyes and clear coat on here, and you'll see her. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, once again, check out my buddy, Ricasso. His channel is called Rick Lore Painting, R-I-C Lore Painting. Thanks for checking out the channel. I appreciate you guys. Uh -huh.